welcome to SBC Sports Talk. I'm here with Amari and Hunter, and today the topic that's been on the mind of a lot of NFL fans, Aaron Rodgers. He has held out from Green Bay so far, and he's looking to leave, we believe. And today we're going to be talking about some teams that we think would be a good fit for him. Amari, you got any ideas for him? Um, the first thing that comes to mind when I think of a team that needs a quarterback is the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Drew Brees just retired. They need a new quarterback. I feel like if Aaron Rodgers goes there, he has Alvin, Alvin Kamara, Michael Thomas, um, Emmanuel Sanders, they brought him back. So I feel like, and they have a great defense too. So I feel like if he goes there, it could be a really good fit for him and possibly lead him to a Super Bowl. Yeah, a team that uh, desperately needs a quarterback as well as the Denver Broncos. Uh, they have Jerry Judy, have a nice young receiving core, uh, Vic Van Gill, one of the best defensive minds in this league, he knows how to coach defense. And also you've seen uh, the Broncos have had success with quarterbacks who have left their uh, team to join the Broncos and they've won a Super Bowl. So that's been the way for the Broncos to win a Super Bowl in the past few years, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna interrupt here, and it looks like we have a studio audience question. What's your name, what's your question, sir? Uh, my name's Jonah, yes. and my question is, could you see Aaron Rodgers going to the Eagles to either be a starter instead of Jalen Hurts, or to help be a mentor for him. Oh, well, I, the the only way he would go there if he would be a starter. I don't think he's looking to be a mentor for anybody. So, that uh, Jalen Hurts will have to, I guess, probably be a part of a deal. You know, that that would be tough for the Packers though, because they already have Jordan Love. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the Eagles do have the draft pick, so. That'll be an interesting trade to see if it happens, but I don't think that would happen. Yeah, I think that would be, to me, that seems like kind of a, a poor fit. It seems like two situations that wouldn't really be mm -hmm. solved by the trade. Jalen Hurts, I feel like having him and Jordan Love, if he were to be part of the trade in the same quarterback room, I feel like that's a little bit too young. they got to get another veteran in there if they're going to do anything. Um, and I think just for the Eagles, I think right now they're just trying to grow their team, and I think... Well, Aaron Rodgers would be a good mentor. I don't think that's what he's looking to do, especially not in uh, Philadelphia to Hurts. Uh, we have another uh, studio audience question. What's your name? What's your question, sir? Uh, my name is Jack, and my question is, do you think since Aaron Rodgers went to Cal, do you think he could return back home in that area and go to the Niners? And how do you think it would work out with the quarterback situation there? I'll take this one. Um, I feel like it's a possibility, but not really. They just drafted Trey Lance. They have Jimmy Garoppolo. But even if he did, I feel like they'll be a playoff team, um, maybe a Super Bowl contender, but, yeah, a playoff team. I, if he does good, I, I see them get into the divisional round. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't see that happening. Uh, with the 49ers drafting Trey Lance, Trey Lance is their future. Uh, I don't think Jimmy G is going to be there much longer, but we we know the reason why they drafted Trey Lance is they believe Trey Lance can win them the Super Bowl, and they believe with Kyle Shanahan, one of the best offensive line in in the NFL, that uh, Trey Lance can have success. Yeah, I think that would be a bit of an awkward fit unless one of the quarterbacks would be traded, and if anyone, I think that'd be Garoppolo. But to me, one team I think who could be a great fit for Aaron Rodgers. It's another one, it's another team like the 49ers, but just without that second quarterback, I think Rodgers could slot in there. I'm taking the Miami Dolphins. It would be a bit of a rough fit, if I'm honest. At the moment, their starter would most likely be Tua Tagaloba. At the moment, Miami seems to have been kind of upset with his performance last year, despite the fact that he is a rookie, and it's a little bit of a challenge to get adjusted into the league. They haven't given him much time so far, and I feel like if Rodgers gets traded there, we could see Tua going the other way, and I think that could be a landing spot for Rodgers. Yeah, I think, though, with the Dolphins, if they do that, trade, there will have to be like another team involved to get Tua, because I don't think the Packers want to have two young quarterbacks, so a third team will have to be involved, and I think that would just be pretty tricky uh, to try to get a third team involved. In the, tr in the trade. Yeah, I think I think Miami should stick with Tua. Um, he only played one year as a rookie season, so I feel like um, they didn't make the playoffs, but they were so close, and I feel like if they just keep him and they added Jalen Waddle, that could be a good um, a good young team in the future. Uh, we have another studio audience question. Uh, again, sir, what's your name? What's your question? My name is Jack, and my question is, 
Do you think any team in the AFC North could try going for Aaron Rodgers this year? Uh, no, I, I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I think uh, the teams. I think it's the. I mean, Panthers. I mean, there's only like a few select teams that I think are in the contention for Aaron Rodgers. So, no. Nah. To me, I, I I don't really see it happening either. I think definitely Carolina is absolutely not an option. They just yeah. they just got a quarterback, and I think. The other teams, I wouldn't know about those. I don't think they would be. I don't think they'd be in the market for him at the moment. I, I, any way the trade happens, it's going to be a little bit tough, and it's probably going to be. It's definitely going to be a landmark trade for many years to come. Well, uh, thank you from all of us at SBC. I have been with Amari Hunter. I'm Spencer. Thank you, and have a good night.